And so I thought today I'd talk about two topics uh, that most Americans never think about. Uh, one is Yemen. Here's some cluster bombs. The reason that they are so awful is they explode, all these little pellets, right, fly out. And those little pellets don't necessarily explode. So they're just sitting there. And little kids look at them, they look like little toys or shiny objects, and they go pick one up and they die, or they get maimed, or they get injured. This was such a problem that you may have read President Obama last week went to Laos, apologized on behalf of the United States for dropping cluster bombs all over Laos, and gave them money to clean that shit up, basically. Um, so it's really disturbing to me that I started reading uh, about cluster bombs being dropped by the Saudi Arabia-led military coalition in civilian neighborhoods uh, in Yemen. Last year, uh, just to give a brief timeline, I started getting reports uh, from Amnesty International, Human Rights Watch, uh, Oxfam, uh, the media, showing that you know there is a civil war raging in Yemen, but a lot of these strikes uh, were nowhere near military targets. They would be airstrikes on wedding parties, airstrikes on a potato chip factory, uh, airstrikes on a civilian neighborhood. When I was active duty in the U.S. Air Force, I taught the law of war. And you, you can't kill civilians nowhere near military targets. Those are war crimes. So I started writing letters uh, to the administration. And uh, back then, it was, it was basically me, right? So um, I had a meeting. It was a classified meeting uh, with the uh, State Department, uh, the gist of which was they told me things were going to get better took their word for it, came back in January, read about the cluster munitions, I sort of, you know, go get apoplectic, write more letters. This time, you know, we get 12 members of Congress uh, engaged. Um, and then you may have seen last month, uh, there was a Saudi Arabia-led uh, coalition airstrike on a Doctors Without Borders hospital, mm -hmm. their fourth strike of a hospital over this year and a half long war killed patients, it killed doctors, it killed staff, even though they had the coordinates of where this hospital was. They also struck, within two days of that, a school. There were 28 children, 18 injured, 10 killed. So then I wrote another letter. Uh, this time we got 64 members of Congress, bipartisan bases, telling the administration, will you please stop selling arms to Saudi Arabia? Uh, but it's worse than that. We're just not selling arms to Saudi Arabia. We're actively helping them in uh, this military coalition. We're providing refueling of their jets. We're providing intelligence information. We're providing logistical support. We are aiding and abetting war crimes. And under the law, if you aid and abet war crimes, you yourself can be guilty of war crimes. So I'm giving this administration every opportunity to stop doing that. Uh, the U.S. Senate has now uh, introduced uh, legislation uh, to formally block uh, this additional sale of arms to Saudi Arabia. And we're trying to really mitigate what is a humanitarian disaster going on in Yemen. And I just want to raise awareness because, you know, if you go around and you go to people and you say, hey, what's Yemen, right? Maybe it's a rock band, it's an app, you know, it's a food. Uh, so there is so very little attention paid on this. And part of the reason, right, is how many of you have seen a uh, Yemeni's super PAC? Uh, how many of you have seen a Yemeni constituency? I don't, I don't, I don't think I've ever actually met anyone from Yemen. Right? I mean, this this is not going to get me a single Yemen vote in my district. <laughs> um, but it is a humanitarian crisis uh, that is out of control, and the U.S. Uh, should not be aiding and abetting war crimes. Uh, in addition to just the moral outrage of that, uh, it affects our national security. Right? We are creating new generations of terrorists when they see that we are aiding and abetting strikes on civilians in Yemen, and it also undermines our credibility. Uh, in the State Department, there is an Office of War Crimes. Their job is to go around to the world saying, will you please stop engaging in war crimes? We completely undercut our authority if we are right now actively helping a military coalition <laughs> that is killing children, newlyweds, doctors, and patients uh, in Yemen. Uh, so we keep working on that. Thank you, uh, Peace Now, and all the other organizations for uh, helping to raise awareness. And as you get more awareness, you get more and more members of Congress involved because no one can really look at these facts and have another conclusion. It is now overwhelming uh, that you have had multiple airstrikes uh, that have targeted civilians uh, that were nowhere near uh, military targets or installations. And there's no real way to describe that other than a war crime. And you can be prosecuted for doing that. So that's Yemen. Um, 